Hey Gene, we have some customers out of service because the cable TV guys hit the power cable with their trencher. I found the problem, but had to cut out about 8 inches of cable that was damaged. The standard connectors aren't long enough to join the two ends. How would you do it? Well, Mike, you could spend a lot of time making up two splices with a jumper cable in between. Or you could just use one of Homac's mechanical repair splices. These things are great! You never know what you'll run into with these repair calls. These work with number 6 to 350 aluminum or copper conductors, so you're covered with almost everything we come across. This one is 12 inches long, but they have an 18-inch version, as well as connectors that will handle up to 500, too. Cut rocket dips to correct wire size. Slide over onto each cable. Insert conductor ends into connector and tighten set screw. Slide flood seals back over connector to seal it up. No tapes or shrinks to mess with, and no big compression tools to lug around. Hey, Gene, that sure was easy. I know. I always have a box of them on my truck. If you find you normally need to cut a longer section out, remember they also make an 18-inch version. I've been using these splice kits for over 20 years, and I never had to dig one back up. Sure makes me sleep better at night. So tell me, Mike, did you learn anything today? I sure did, Gene. When it comes to making connections right the first time, I'm connecting with Homac.